Good morning, everyone, and thank you very much for your patience with us this morning. Welcome to St. Joseph's Church in the St. Brendan the Navigator Catholic Community in the celebration of the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. Today is Easter Sunday. This Mass is being offered for Wendy Doucette. Last weekend, the offertory collection for St. Joseph's Church was $4,797. Vanco deposits for the week of March 18th through March the 22nd were $482.20 for a total of $5,279.20. The rice bowl collection was $1,216.06. The St. Joseph School collection was $645. First Friday Adoration will be held at St. Joseph on April 5th after the 7.30 a.m. Mass and conclude with the benediction at 5.30 p.m. The Thousand Club will meet next Sunday, April 7th, after the 8 a.m. Mass in the school. Food distribution will take place at St. Mary on Friday, April 5th from 1 to 2 p.m. The second collection today will be for the sick and infirmed priest. Now, let us stand and greet our celebrant, Father Tony. Our opening hymn is number 172, Jesus Christ is just In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who on this day, your only begotten Son, have conquered death, look for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we keep the Sunday of the Lord's resurrection. May, do all brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and of the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. be with you. Reading the gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning. Well, it was still dark. So the stone removed from the tomb. She ran and went to Simon Peter, the disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb. I don't know where they put him. Peter and the other disciple went on and came to the tomb. They both ran. The disciple ran faster and Peter arrived at the tomb first. They bent down to the burial cloth there but not go in. Simon Peter arrived after him. He went into the tomb. So the burial cloth there and the cloth that covered his head. Now the burial cloth rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in. When he arrived at the tomb first and he saw and believed. They did not yet understand the scripture and arise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. We now have the sprinkling with holy water. Don't be trying to avoid it. We have a little thing, but we're going to keep filling it up till we get everybody sprinkled. And those who haven't been here in a while, you need extra sprinkling. Thank <laughs> you. 
On behalf of our pastor, Father Mark O'Donnell, I'd like to wish all of you a very blessed and happy Easter. Now today is the most important day of the liturgical year. Why? So what about Christmas? Well, Christmas is good. She just came down from heaven, born. He lived about 30 years as a carpenter. Then he went out, did a lot of good works, healed a lot of people, brought some people back from the dead. But had he done all that, ended up living in a nursing home and dying, and wouldn't done anybody too much good because the gates of heaven would still be closed. Jesus had to suffer and die on the cross, rise again on the third day, to open the gates of heaven for us, who live a good life, not for everyone. Gates of heaven are open, some people don't live a good life, so they're not heading there. Others live a mediocre life, they go to purgatory. And then they have to figure out what they did wrong in this life, eventually they get to heaven, if they repent for their sins. So today is the most important day of the year, liturgically speaking, because Jesus rose from dead, defeated death. Now we look at our lives, especially the adults that are here, you may say, well, this person hurt me, this person sold me a used car was a clunker. I still don't forgive them. Go ahead and forgive them. You're going to be dead someday, and then on Judgment Day, the Lord's going to say, you never forgave Joe Schmo from Kokomo for selling you a clunker? You jeopardize eternal life for that? Maybe somebody sold you a house that leaks when it rains. Just like today, you got wet. Maybe you got wet in your house. Forgive them for it. So it's all about forgiveness. Jesus suffered on the cross, forgiveness of sins. So that means we need to forgive our neighbor. People holding grudges. Ah, my sister didn't invite me to her daughter's wedding 40 years ago. I still don't speak to her. What? Craziness. Craziness, craziness, craziness. Forgive her. Maybe you were give too cheap to give a gift. Maybe that's why she didn't invite you. Everything about that? Forgive it when somebody invites you to a wedding. In fact, when people don't invite me to a wedding, I'm happy because I don't have to give them a gift. <laughs> Good. Uh, somebody says, oh, I forgot to invite you to my wedding. No problem. I saved a, a Benjamin and a Ulysses, 150 bucks I saved. Thank you. Let's forgive everyone who's hurt us in our lives. Let's start living a better life. We see a packed church. Someone commented to me before Mass. Church is packed today. Hope it'll be the same way next week. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a funny one there. <laughs> a lot of people think uh, Easter Sunday, Christmas are like the two Super Bowls of the year. They don't realize when you take bread and wine and the body and blood of Christ, every Mass is the Super Bowl, the World Series, March Madness, the Final Four, whatever it is, whatever you're into, every Mass is that important. I have Mass at the nursing home tomorrow. That Mass will be just as important as this Mass here. Why? Bread and wine, the body and blood of Christ. That's why the Mass is so important. That's why we need to attend every weekend, every weekend, every weekend. We'd love to see you here every weekend. Jesus would love to see you every weekend, more important than me. Jesus would love to see you every weekend. You might say, well, I like to sleep in on Sunday morning. Do you have to attend Mass on Sunday? No. When can you come? Saturday afternoon. Well, I'm working Saturday afternoon. When come to Mass on Sunday morning? <laughs> be a little inconvenience. Jesus suffered down on the cross for us. Yeah, it was inconvenient. We can be a little inconvenience for him. Come to Mass. Today, death was defeated. I, both lost, I lost both my parents last year to cancer. My mom had leukemia. She was dying of cancer. It was aggressive. 87 inches, she broke her hip. So she was in extreme pain. So she told the doctors, cancel the, uh, the platelets. I'm ready to go. So the doctors came in. I have to be there that morning. I was in Pittsburgh in the hospital. And they said, Dr. Dr. Khan, come in. He's milling around. It was a teaching hospital. said all these other doctors behind him. They looked like Doogie Hauser, about 15 years old. So anyhow, they're behind him, men and women. And uh, 
He's trying to tell my mom she's going to die. He's saying, well, we still have to play this and that. He's hemming around. He had his head down. And uh, my mom finally looked up and said, you trying to tell me I'm going to be dead in a couple days? And the doctor said, yes. My mom said, good. I believe in the promise of eternal life. I believe I'm Catholic. I believe in that promise of eternal life. I believe Jesus suffered and died on the cross for us. Open the gates of heaven for us. Well, the doctor Klein, he didn't know what to say, so he just turned around and he said, Our work here is done. If you believe in that promise of eternal life, you let go of all the hurts, let go of everything you're worried about, having a brand new car, a brand new house, brand new 800-inch television. I forget about all that aggravation. The main thing is that you live a good life. Because what you're going to look at in eternal life, if you make it north, where? Canada? No. Further north. North Pole? No. Further north. Heaven? Better than an 800-foot television, which you're going to see. You're going to see the divine essence. God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Blessed Mother, be there for all eternity. Family and friends who made it. No more death, sickness, illness. No more masks. No more COVID. No more what are we going to have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I can't sleep. I got a bad hip. None of that nonsense. You'll be in eternal bliss in heaven. We live a good life. Come to Mass every weekend. Death has been defeated today. Let's rejoice. Please stand. Do something different today. Uh uh, I like different. It's a change. Uh uh, what's this about? Renewal baptismal promises takes the place today, the Nicaea Creed. So all you got to do is say, I do, when I point at you. Just say, I do. There you got it. Okay. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, bear with grace and baptism. And we walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our Latin observance is concluded, to renew the promises of holy baptism by which we want to renounce Satan and his works. I promise to serve God and the Holy Catholic Church. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Now these are a little bit longer, so wait for me to point, because people start saying I do, and we're not even done with the question yet. Do you believe in God, the Father the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, the born of the Virgin Mary, Severed dead was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Okay, that's it for I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace, Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have... Prayer the faithful. Please remain standing. Okay. We will join the Lord's victory over sin and the promise of resurrection. Turn to our loving God with our needs and the needs of our sisters and brothers. For the whole church, reborn in the risen Lord that we may continually bear witness to the effect of the resurrection on our lives, giving us and the world joy, hope, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the resurrection of our Lord may bring comfort to those who suffer, hope to those in despair, and new life to all those who are dying. We pray to the Lord. For all the victims and their families of the Baltimore Bridge mishap, and also for the many dedicated first responders who perform such a value service to all, we pray to the Lord. For the newest member of, members of the church, especially those in our St. Brendan the Navigator Catholic community, that the good work the Lord has begun in them may continue to bear fruit, we pray to the Lord. For those who have suffered loss and are alone on this Easter Sunday, 
that they may be comforted by the eternal spiritual bond they have with those they love. We pray to the Lord. This Mass is being offered for Wendy Doucette. May she rest in the peace of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Rosalie Frankowitz, who was buried this week. May her soul and the soul of all the faithful departed rest in the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life and love, you raised your son from the grave. You have hope and meaning, thereby saving our lives. Grant that the new life you promise may raise us up. So raise our prayers to you. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. We now ask for six members of our community to take up our collection. Our offertory is number 180, our of the Holy Cross. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exalt with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give you thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to claim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb, has taken away the sin of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising he has restored our life. Therefore we come with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory at the claim.
You therefore, most merciful Father, make humble prayer and petition, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Mike, our Bishop, all those who hold the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, faith and devotion are known to you. Then we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, all who are dear to them, redemption of their souls, hope of health and well-being, paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living in truth, celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, to meet with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and you, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Rosanus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through the merits and prayers and all things may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray that you accept this oblation of our service that of your whole family, which we make to you. Also for those to whom you have been pleased to give new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, and them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace. Command that we be delivered from eternal damnation. Come among the flock, those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he was to suffer, took bread in his holy and venerable hands. Lies right there, heaven. You are God, his almighty Father. Give me thanks, he said a blessing. Broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took his precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more, giving thanks, he said a blessing. Gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, our Lord, as we celebrate the moral of the Blessed Passion, resurrection from the dead and glorious ascension to heaven, Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty 
from the gifts that you've given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept gifts of your servant, able the just. The sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. Noble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command these gifts be born by the hand of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, found before us in the sign of faith, rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us, also your servants, to those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share, fellowship with the holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company. Not weighing our merits, grant us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. To whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. May she grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign wherever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Verbally, offer each other the sign of peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, you gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood. All my sin and every evil, keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let me part from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep you safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep you safe for eternal life.
for all of those who are unable to receive the Holy Eucharist at this time, we offer the spiritual communion prayer of St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Do you see your homework assignment? What? After mass. After mass, you can do that. It goes on that thing now. You can do it after mass, but now people be talking and that should be doing it. Let's see what's that holy gear again. Here you go.
Again, on behalf of our pastor, Father Mark O'Donnell, I'd like to wish each and every one of you a very blessed, happy, and holy Easter, spending time with family and friends. And we'll see everybody here again next weekend. <laughs> Let us pray. <clears throat> Find your church, O oh God, unfailing love, favor. They're renewed by the Paschal Mysteries. She may come to the glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Solemn blessing for amens. For amens. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter Solemnity and his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. May he restore you to eternal life, the resurrection of his only begotten, die you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of our Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast. Come with Christ's help, resulting in spirit, and those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn.